Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. It is the 21st of June. This is our weekly recap. It goes out there for free. If you guys want to join me, click on live trading alerts. You can join us in our live Zoom room and Discord and find out what we're all about. You know, we're trading every day based off flow, momentum, news, and technical setups. So let's talk about this week. And today's been a very quiet day here in the market. Uh, we had Wednesday off, which was unusual for Juneteenth. Uh, and so we've had a four-day week, and you can see the market put a new all-time high, and yesterday on the open came down, and the SPY is sitting here holding the eight-day, although it's not down as much as you think it is because the dividend came out of the, the SPY today. Overall, we're holding it just fine. Volume yesterday was pretty big. Today, so far, pretty low. We're going to have a big rebalance on the close, and everybody's going to be watching that, but markets here are holding it just fine so far. When we look around and what's going on, the Qs, all-time highs, pull back to the eight-day, similar. IWM remains weak and out of play. The diamonds have strengthened back up, starting to lead. They led for a while. They took a break, so maybe we're starting to see some rotation back there. Energy, trying to wake up a bit. Not much going on. You can see I have a downtrend here. You know, we'll, we'll see if this comes up and test that. The financials are holding in. JP Morgan looked good yesterday, but look at this gap down. And today, it just... You know, we're just not getting great kind of action in these names right now. They're just not there. The SMH has put a new all-time high in yesterday. We had an ugly candle yesterday and some follow-through to the downside today. Currently, we're underneath the eight-day. NVIDIA is going to be upsized in the XLK from four from 6% to 22%. It had a big nasty candle and follow through uh, yesterday and follow through today as well underneath the eight day. So, you know, now it's a time to be a little more cautious. The 21 day down there at 120 might be in play. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what it does. Uh, we saw a lot of these names get hit yesterday. Uh, Arm, Arm got hit yesterday. Uh, Micron got hit hard yesterday. Uh, we were trading Dell for uh, two days yesterday. That came in. Same thing with FMCI. You know, that got hit as well. Uh, AMD had a beautiful candle yesterday and it kind of stuck here today, but kind of holding in. You know, uh, we talk about the same names all the time because they're the ones that are in play. By the way, Carvana here is raging high as of the day and pushing up. Uh, Bitcoin's been weak. Coin has been coming in. Um, not much going on there. And then we're back to names like Microsoft. Microsoft today, nice push, held in strong, just missed the all-time high. Amazon, you know, I took Amazon took a loss on that one today. You know, Amazon, I thought it could push off that news with Siri, uh, not Siri, with Alexa, that it's going to start charging 5 to $10 a month, depending on which package you get for their AI content on it. But it couldn't go. So it didn't go, but it's holding in just fine. Meta has been weak out of play uh, on the 21 day. We'll see if it holds there. Google also kind of um, strong, sorry, uh, new all-time high today. You know, one of the stronger names in the market today is one of the ones they went after. We traded that. Apple also, you know, weakened here. They have a big sell imbalance today. Uh, they're down, being downsized from 22% to 4.5% of the XLK. So, you know, this this means is they'll all be buying these back after today. But overall, they're all holding in just fine. Not much going on here, and things remain relatively quiet. So, you know, it's that kind of market. They continue to stick with the bigger um, big cap names. They continue to trade them mostly. Uh, for me right now, it's still about just focusing on the names that are in play, whether it was Tesla this week for a couple of times. And, you know, Tesla here is stuck. Uh, we traded Tesla heavily on Monday. And, you know, it's it's holding this upper range. So it's moved the range from, you know, this channel from down here to higher, but it's no power right now. It's just a matter of finding what's in play. So for us on Monday, it was Tesla. On Tuesday, it was Dell. On Wednesday, it was Dell. and I'm sorry, Thursday, it was Dell and AMD. And today it was a hodgepodge. I traded Tesla, Amazon, NVIDIA, Google, and NVIDIA. And, you know, that's it. We'll see what we get. So with that said, I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you live in the room on Monday morning, and I'll do charts on Sunday.